use my own as an example. When I was, because um, I believe the word, right? I study the word. And the word says, all has been healed, right? The word of God is health to my bones and is life and health to my bones. Praise the Lord. And by his stripes, I've been healed. And so when I was, I, I took that word and I began to confess it. But I didn't just stay there. I knew, I believed that I can see. I don't need the glasses. And so what do I do? I put the glasses away. I put the glasses, I can, I'm looking at the, the screen and I can't see the screen. But because I believe what the word of God says, I'm going to put that word into action. I'm going to observe to do what the word says. I can see. He says, see, you can see. You are healed. So I'm healed. I can see. I will look at the board. I'll be squinting. Praise God. But I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth daily. And I'm also putting that word into action. So whenever anything arises, say, oh, somebody give me the thing, in, in, um, give me something to read. I'm not going to say, oh, I can't see that. No, I'm going to remember what the word of God says and I'm going to put it into action. Praise God. Say, oh, that thing, maybe you can say that thing is too tiny or something. It's too small for me or whatever. But not that you can't see. I'm teaching us how to walk by faith, how to live by faith. So when I, had, when I, I began to do that, then the third one, is spirit of faith. It's the spirit of faith. I remember I talked about God is spirit, you are spirit, and the way to communicate with God is spirit. The way he will communicate with you is spirit. So if you don't have enough word in you, if you don't, first of all, have in yourself, in your mind, that you are healed. If you don't first have the, the word in your mind that by his stripes you are healed, that the word of God is life and is health in your bone, how can he spirit to spirit you? How can the spirit of faith come into effect for you. So the first one is the law of faith. You're confessing it to your mouth and you're walking it out. So then it's the spirit of faith. This is where you have been diligently seeking God. You are diligently seeking. You have faith that, yes, you, I can see and I can see now. But yeah, you're confessing it. I can see in all your walk in life, you are manifesting that belief. You have the baby things all over the place. You have the baby crib in the baby room. Everything is painted. You are ready. You are diligently seeking God with those little actions. Then God will now come and tell you. Either via his word, you will receive a rhema word. He will come and tell you spirit to spirit. You will receive it in your heart. If anyone has heard God speak, you, that quiet, still voice, he will give you that instruction or he will give you the word of knowledge or that rhema word that will just catapult you. That is what happened with me, with my eye. I was diligently seeking him. I was studying the word. I was doing faith things. He, first, he told me to, to study about faith. I began to do that. Then, you now see, obedience, right? Lack of knowledge, obedience. Once you have knowledge, boom, boom, boom. You obey what he's telling you. So he said, study faith. I began to study about faith. Everything, faith, faith, faith. I'm listening to the word of God. At the same time, I'm confessing that I can see. I can see, I can see. At the same time, then one day, I was in church. I was minding my business, doing what I do, worshiping God. And then, you know, the pastor was up. He was praying. We were praying. And the next thing, I just heard that when um, in all your life, you always known that you'd be good, right? I said, yes. So it's not that you needed something or you needed it to be good, that's why it was good. It's not that you were doing something, that, that's why it was good. It's because you believe that everything is gonna be good, everything is gonna happen, say yes. So that means you can see. So open your eyes and see. I just said, I can't see. I didn't test it yet, right? I was, I was behind the microphone just doing, but as soon as that word came, it catapults you. That's, that's the word you need for this final stage, to receiving what you want, to receiving that which was already restored. My eyesight was already restored as soon as I became a, a Christian, right? But I had to go through these things. The, the law of faith, the work of faith, the spirit of faith. You need that spirit of faith because sometimes it might not be that you are, um, the reason might not be just buying baby things or the solution might not be just buying baby things and fixing them. There might actually be a root problem. There might actually be a root problem. And God will tell you, you need that spirit to spirit for him to tell you that this is what the problem is, this is what you need to do. 
I could have been going to, and I did, right? I went to pastors. I didn't go to physically go to pastors, right? But there would be like healing streams or whatever. And I would be there and I would be like, ah, da, da, da. And, you know, I'm receiving it today. <laughs> you know, I'm doing the work of faith, right? But then spirit to spirit told me that it's not by that. This path for you is not by that. You're going to have to do it yourself. You know, that's what he told me. And that's how I knew. So I just, after I, he said that, I stopped that. You will be wasting your time if you don't have spirit to spirit. You, there will be such a delay if you don't have spirit to spirit. If I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Praise the Lord. So you need that spirit to spirit. So what, that spirit to spirit was what led me here to the point where I can see. Or I've always been able to see, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, so...